thing I love most about Holoplast Care is that there's always somebody there, whether it be on the end of a phone or on the end of the computer. The information through Coloplast Care supplements what I'm teaching in the hospital and what I'm guiding the patient to expect once they go home in many different ways. It was kind of a shock to find out that I was going to have an ostomy or that I had cancer. You don't know what to do when you first hear of it, but then the alternate is you're going to die if you don't. But we have the luxury of being able to see patients before surgery during surgery and after surgery, and then I get to see their transition and to see their growth in all of this. You see people that can't look at their stoma initially to those who are ready to go. I was diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease. I decided that I wanted to have ostomy surgery because I realized that it would give me my life back and that uncertainty of whether or not I was gonna go into flare and end up in the hospital would be taken away. Right after the surgery, I'm sure I felt a little disappointed. You know, how did I wind up with this? When I woke up from my operation, having my oleostomy formed, I remember saying to the nurse, you know, as I woke up, I said to her, has it happened? Have I got it? And she said, yes. Patients need different support in the hospital than they do when they go home. In the hospital, they're just taking their first baby steps when it comes to working with their stoma. When I got home, I think that's when the real questions began. Because in the hospital, they show you a few things and you think, okay, it looks like a pretty simple device. That's all I need to know. But then you get home and you start thinking about what feels comfortable, and then you start to have questions. The coloplast advisor role and a clinician, I think those two roles actually work in collaboration. We are there to support and we both have the same goal in mind. Coloplast Care complements the advice that I get from my stoma nurse because it reinforces what she's telling me. Stomas can change. Uh, it could be quite a bit or a little bit. It's important to know that things can change and that doesn't mean there's anything wrong. You know, we gain weight, we lose weight. Our body tissue sags a little bit, bulges a little bit. And what we started off with may not be what we need to continue with for the rest of our lives. That's where a care advisor can definitely help you kind of navigate through what your stoma looks like. Coloplast has a really neat assessment tool that patients can utilize called the ostomy check. And it's like, how is my appliance fitting? Do I have any irritation? Do I have any leaks? Am I having pancaking issues? If your pouch is leaking, if you have skin irritation, that means we need to reassess. Many patients have the perception that having skin irritation or leakage is just a normal part of life with having an ostomy. And it's important that they realize that that's not the case. Once we figure out what the issue is, the leakage shouldn't happen. We can help you assess what's going on to make a new change, to make the products work better, to make your routine become easier for you. Coloplast Care was my point of contact for where should I be looking, what should I be doing. The chances are you're going to find your answer on Coloplast Care. Somebody's going to be there that can support you and that can help you and take away any fears that you might have.